Hello everyone. How's it going? Are you all being nice and isolated? Well, I got my frumpy reading sweater on again, as you can see. So it must be story time. Let's see what we got today. Ah, I have a nice cup of hot Earl Grey tea. Oh, I like my hot Earl Grey tea. Today's story is by Robert Munch. And it's one of the first stories I read to the kids. So hold on, let me get the book. Sit back, relax, get ready. Okay, we have the book. I got my reading glasses. We're ready. The story is called Mud Puddle by Robert Munch. Julianne's mother bought her clean new clothes. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she walked outside and sat down under the apple tree. Unfortunately, hiding up in the apple tree, there was a mud puddle. It saw Julianne sitting there and it jumped right on her head. She got completely all over muddy. Even her ears were full of mud. Julianne ran inside, yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Her mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her into a tub of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She even washed out her mouth. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she looked out the back door. She couldn't see a mud puddle anywhere. So she walked outside and sat down in her sandbox. The sandbox was next to the house. And hiding on top of the house, there was a mud puddle. It saw Julianne sitting down there and it jumped Right on her head, she got completely all over muddy. Even her nose was full of mud. Julianne ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Julianne's mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her into a tub of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She washed out her mouth. She even washed out her nose. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she had an idea. She reached way back into the closet and got out a big yellow raincoat. She put it on and walked outside. There was no mud puddle anywhere. So she yelled, Hey, mud puddle! Nothing happened. So she yelled even louder, Hey, mud puddle! Julianne was standing in the sunshine, in her raincoat getting very hot. She pulled back her hood. Nothing happened. She took off her raincoat. As soon as she took off her coat, out from behind the doghouse, there came the mud puddle. It ran across the grass and jumped right on Julianne's head. She got completely all over muddy. Julianne ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Her mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her into a tub full of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She washed out her mouth. She washed out her nose. She even washed out her belly button. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she sat beside the back door because she was afraid to go outside. Then she had an idea. She reached up to the sink and took a bar of smelly yellow soap. She gave it a smell. Yuck! She took another bar of smelly yellow soap 
and gave it a smell. Yuck! She put the smelly yellow soap in her pockets. Then she ran out into the middle of the backyard and yelled, Hey, mud puddle! The mud puddle jumped over the fence and ran right towards her. Julianne threw a bar of soap right into the mud puddle's middle. The mud puddle stopped. Julianne threw the other bar of soap right into the mud puddle. The mud puddle said, Ah, ee, yuck, ah, and ran across the grass, jumped over the fence, and never came back. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. That's always a fun story to read. Now, you have a good day. Be kind to each other. Take care of each other. And be good to yourself. Bye now.